Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you a live reaction to the Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City official movie trailer. Finally, it's here. This movie's coming out, what, in two months' time? Technically, it's coming out next month in America first. We're in the UK are getting it early December instead. I think a week or two after the movie's released there, which is a bit weird. Usually we get movies first, but okay, fair enough. I guess we're going to be the last to get it. Uh, I did a video on this yesterday, uh, talking about where the trailer was and talking about some of the spoilers. And yeah, I, di I didn't know the trailer was going to come out today. So when I was doing my editing for the video yesterday, suddenly I, I see like a, a, a link where they're saying, oh yeah, a Resident Evil movie. I'm like, what? Is the trailer out now? And I check it out. It's just like a preview for tomorrow's trailer, like today's trailer, basically. It's like, oh, okay, talk about timing there. Like, uh... I, I should have done that video a bit sooner because I had some of the information way early on. But I thought, I thought I, I was just in the mood to do the video, to record and edit the video yesterday. And it just happened to coincide with the reveal that the trailer was coming out the next day. So it's like, okay, we all win in the end, right? Um, anyway, I really want to see this. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with this. And I'm going to sit down and analyze the crap out of this trailer. So basically a breakdown. So let's do this guys and remember to like and subscribe. Sorry for the background noise, it's the PS4. I was playing Witcher 3 and I was getting quite into it until I saw that the trailer was out. So yeah, I'm not turning that off. That's going to be on. Apologize for that. But yeah, let's watch this trailer then. Let's watch it and see if it lives up to our expectations or at least mine. Starting now guys, starting now. They got liquors in this! Yo! Every story has a beginning. Okay, yeah, beginning. For September 30th, 1998, we got the little raccoon sign. Okay, okay, so she's the one doing the conspiracy. There's Leon, where is this? Who is that? William Birkin, Lisa Trevor. There's a truck chase. Oh, there's a got the truck driver. There we go, right outside RPD. There's his chief irons. Okay. Oh, the dog sea giant. This. What's going on? I don't like what how Leon looks. There's the mansion. There's Birkin. Doing these little experiments. Dangerous. Lisa Trevor is West Coast. Who's that? Oh, they recreated the, the mansion set. It looks a bit cheap, but... Oh, the helicopter crashes into the mansion. The, the recreation... <laughs> itchy Tasty! They got Itchy Tasty! Who's that? Is that Lisa Trevor? Who's Why are the dogs CGI? What is that? What was that? That's a liquor, yeah. What was that other monster? Was it a tyrant? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I don't want to hype myself up, but I actually enjoyed that. <laughs> I like seeing the familiar places. I like seeing the little nuns in the previous games. Um, wow, I didn't know they had that much in there. Um, I'm going to see this again, and I'm going to try and go, go slowly, slowly about it, okay? So yeah, guys, uh, like and subscribe, please. I'm getting hyped now. <laughs> what was that monster at the end? Let's go for this slowly. Okay. Okay, guys, if you're joining me now, we're doing the breakdown for the trailer now. So yeah, uh, I'm probably going to watch this again a second time, but let, let's just... Let's keep chill. Okay. Okay. So Umbrella is... Umbrella's there. They're part of the, obviously, bodyguards for the city. Uh, I'm assuming they're doing a blockade, maybe, maybe not. Um, it's raining. 
Claire is going to Raccoon City. We got the we got the we got that uh, sign that was first introduced. Was it in Umbrella Chronicles or Dark Side Chronicles? I think it was Dark Side Chronicles, and they put it into the Resident Evil 2 remake. Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, enjoy your stay. It doesn't say Home of Umbrella. I think it's faded away, but and it takes place on September 30th in 1998, not September 20. 28th when there when the outbreak I believe started I think that was when Jill was trying to escape the city I think September 30th is that when Claire and Leon actually came into the city in the original game okay whatever I'm fanboy okay so Raccoon City we're getting our first look at Raccoon City here and it's a shithole it is a shithole it doesn't look as big and grand as it does in the other games where it looks like a metropolis uh, and to be fair, it is supposed to be a small Midwestern town in the original games. And I think the remake sort of made it look a bit more more bigger than it is. Um, I like this shot here because I think that's the RPD station that we can see here from a distance. I think there's the truck burning in the background in the corner down there. So that's a, that's pretty, that's a pretty cool kind of shot. We can, we can see the city from here. Um, I don't see any clock tower, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like there's beaches as well, maybe, in the far side, unless there's, like, desert. Um, yeah, I'm, cu I'm curious, like, and there's a big little Detroit little water tower there, I think. Uh, yeah. So we get in a scene with Chris and Claire. So Claire gets to, comes back to Raccoon City. She's not looking for Chris. Uh, well, technically she is, but it looks like we get a little reunion before shit hits the fan. We don't... Okay, this next shot of whoever's opening the key and the door's going out, there's the umbrella symbol. This looks like it's the orphanage. I think they're in the orphanage. I did say in my last video that maybe they go from the police station to the orphanage and, and that's where they find like the hidden lab, so... They're going in there, they're exploring. And, and Claire's showing her a video of this guy. I don't know who this character is. An umbrella is shelter from the storm here. Yeah. So there's William Birkin, there's the orphanage, so just like in the Resident Evil 2 remake game, William Birkin is behind the experiments at the orphanage. So there's Jill, we got a, a shot of Jill there, and there's a shot of Wesker here, bleeding. And there's Lisa, here's our first good look at Lisa Trevor. Uh, yeah, she looks creepy, we can see the eye exposed, I'm assuming that's supposed to be the hair or the flesh with the skin merged together, and the faces of the victims that she's cut off and wearing, or the face of her mother perhaps, I don't, I don't know what, what direction uh, they're going here with it, all I know is that she grew up in the orphanage alongside Claire, so probably other children victims maybe, or her abusers, shot of the RPD station. I really don't like how Leon looks, I'm sorry, I can't get over that, hopefully he's a good actor. We get the famous truck crash, there's the truck driver, there's a dog in there, there's a dog in there, so did the dog get infected and bite him and he crashes the truck? Truck, the truck crashes, boom! You got it. Who is this character with the glasses? Who is this talking to Claire? I don't recognise this character. So we got zombies piling in, there's Chief Irons in the underground uh, RPD car park. Clearly there's something here. There's the dogs, obviously the dogs are famous for being in the, under in the underground car park. For some reason they're CGI, Iron's fighting back. Uh, we got the helicopter pilot, I don't know who that's supposed to be, one of the stars members. Breaking through the, and killing the guy, is this supposed to be Kevin maybe? He, he doesn't have a big role in the game, so he's just the pilot who you find dead, so you know, don't expect big character development there. <laughs> November 24th, so this movie is coming out November 24th then, weird. That we're gonna... So we got a little shot of Claire and Chris looking at the rainbow, or the, the raining. But for some reason they end up going to the mansion and Claire ends up meeting with Leon and heading to the RPD. We have to contain this. So they don't know about the infection yet, right? The infection just starting around this time, I'm assuming. There's Chris. I think they're in the RPD station. No, no. So she meets with Leon and she gives him the vest. So they, so they, they meet in the RPD and they, they, they put on their uniforms. Okay. There's the helicopter there, there there's appears to be some sort of truck crash, uh, jeep crash. This doesn't look like it's the RPD or Raccoon City, this looks like it's going to be Raccoon Forest that the helicopter's flying about. Are we going to get some sort of uh, similar origin to make to how Zero started, where Bravo Team finds the uh, military jeep that's been uh, crashed by that Billy Cone was in? Obviously Billy Cone's not in this movie, but I'm wondering if that's what they're sort of inspired by. Chris and Joe together in the chopper. Wesco with uh, Richard Alkin, I believe, who's not sporting any red there. There's the mansion. Look at the mansion. There's William Birkin, who's who's an older William Birkin. He doesn't have the typical blonde hair that we know, white there. 
Who is this? Uh, is this supposed to be Lisa Trevor being experimented on? Is that a young Claire who witnessed the experiment and knows about what's going on from the orphanage? Elevator going down somewhere. Claire finding out some... Oh! Oh! Oh my god, I didn't even notice this the first time! Holy crap, it's the Ashford twins! It's the Ashford twins! It's Alexia and Alfred Ashford! Holy shit! What is going on here? Are we getting co- Oh my god, is this gonna lead into a Cold Veronica sequel then? Because if- If the spoilers are true that- That, that, that the city gets nuked by the end of the movie, right? Uh... Then it only makes sense the next sequel will be Cold Veronica. And look at that! A young Alexia and Alfred Ashford, and they got- Is he playing with the fireflies? Is this the- Is this the recreation, recreation of the scene from Cold Veronica with their kids and they're playing with the fireflies and they're Oh my god! And there's William Birkin there. This is a bit weird because in the games, um, William Birkin was supposed to be the child genius. Well, technically he was in his 20s or, or uh, early 20s, uh, um, late 20s. And people were like, you're a genius. But then Alexia came and she was only like 10 years old and she was already doing a lot of crap. And Birkin became jealous of her because of that. But then, you know, that whole thing happened with her where she mysteriously died. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to end up being better than her. And that. But it's interesting. So he's there doing... The experiments there with her. I think that's a young Claire or a Lisa Trevor, maybe. Okay, there's, there's something there that said twins. Ashford twins! It is the Ashfords! Holy shit! What is going on here? What's it the Cobra? I didn't even expect Cobra Ronica correct actions there. What the hell? Is Chris in this scene with them? Okay, so uh, we've seen this file subject, Lisa Trevor, yeah. Uh, dangerous, we got a little shot there, uh, William Birkin at the bottom of it, it says, uh, I can't read the first, the 9th maybe, of the 6th of June, uh, 19 maybe I think, let's, let's see if we can read this, uh, test subject 11th and blah, subject injected with a progenital virus, so they got the progenital virus in there, a uh, virus fusion uh, positive, but delayed, a uh, massive, I can't read the state state with uh, blah 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 research uh, successfully uh, isolates G virus so in in of an in, in E type parasite so we got the nemesis we got the G virus and a nemesis parasite mentioned the uh, testing what becomes uh, unproductive and extremely dangerous uh, recommended termination of so this this looks like it's a it, it's the exact file that you find on her I think. In, in the one of the original games, it, I think it was either Resident Evil Remake or if it was Umbrella Chronicles. Interesting that they got that in there. That's awesome. It's a nice little callback. I'm liking this. And there's Chris and Chill. They're looking at something. Or is that Wesker, actually? I think that's Wesker. Or, who is that? Is that Lisa Trevor who's, like, building up? Or is this... So they enter the mansion. Wesker telling them to split up. Yeah, why not? Split up so I can betray you and pick you off one by one, right? Look at that recreation. It looks a bit CGI, actually. I don't know if that's... This is interesting, so the helicopter crashes in here. I'm assuming this is the Alpha Team helicopter and the person who gets killed is Brad. I'm assuming, because he is that Alpha Team helicopter in the games. So maybe he, he ends up getting infected and he tries to fly up and he crashes the helicopter into the mansion and then all the zombies come in, explosion, EXPLOSIONS! And then we get the recreation of the famous zombie scene from the original game and the remake. The Oh, look at that. It's not as good as that, but it's still a nice recreation. Who's getting eaten there, though? And who is that? Someone's getting killed there. I don't. I can't tell if that's uh, Richard. I think it's Richard getting killed there. So he gets eaten by zombies. He doesn't get killed by the giant snake. Itchy, itchy, tasty. I think that's Lisa Trevor. Because, look, there's Claire behind the mirror. And there's her. And she's writing itchy, tasty. So I'm assuming this is Lisa hunting Claire down. Is Claire at her house? It's Claire at her house, and Elisa Trevor somehow escapes and goes to Claire's house and attacks her, like... The zombie's coming through the gate. Chris and Claire reunite at some point in the movie, Leon kicking ass. Why are the dogs CGI? They're making it very, like, focused on Claire being the main character. Okay, what the hell is this? What is that? I don't recognize this monster. Is that William Birkin? So the next shot shows William Birkin. And I think he's infected or he's dying. Is this supposed to be G? This is either G because it's got the multiple it's got the multiple eye bulbs on its on its shoulders. Or this is Talos maybe? 
So we okay, it, it confirmed William Birkin dies in this, and he and he transforms into something. So I'm assuming this is G, but is this the orphanage or is this the umbrella lab? And there's the liquor. No, I'm the li This is the orphanage, yeah, because you got the sort sort of a window sim uh, symbol there. You got the, the Pacific designed window there in the background. So this is the orphanage, and there's the liquor there. And it looks like the one from the Resident Evil 2 remake game. So great, great! I'm excited for this. I think I'm gonna see this in cinemas now. Uh, I didn't think it would have that many callbacks. Wow. So yeah, um, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm excited for this movie, guys. I didn't, I didn't think it would look that good, but I liked what I saw. I'm in, I'm intrigued to see how much they tie into this. How much they bring. It seems they brought a pretty big lot, but um, I'm so confused. I'm assuming though the mansion stuff with, with 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 the stars team is going to be very short. In fact, I'm thinking it's going to be very similar to what they did with Resident Evil Vendetta, where they had that mansion set piece, which was only like 10 minutes, I think, in the beginning of the movie. I'm thinking it's going to be similar to this. Maybe we get like a good 20 minutes. They go in, zombies attack, they fight them off, certain members die, helicopter crash, they have to escape and get back to Raccoon City, they all reunite. Uh, you got uh, Claire and Leon escaping the RPD. They, it leads them to the uh, orphanage where they grew up. They find out all the crazy stuff. They find the secret labs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Birkin is there. He gets killed properly by Wesker. He transforms into the giant G-mutant monster. Like, and then somehow they reunite with Chris and the other stars and they have to escape. I'm assuming that's how the plot or the thing's going to go. But, oh, God. I thought this would look, this would look like crap. But um, I'm interested to see how they pull this off. I'm interested to see what... Like the co Veronica set piece, like the the like, and, and and the references to ne to the Nemesis Parasite and G Virus in the little Lisa Trevor document. Yo, yo, I'm intrigued. Well done, well done. I'm intrigued to see how this goes. I really want this to do well now because I would like to see a co Veronica movie adaptation. Oh, oh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I didn't think that would be possible. I actually didn't think that would be possible, but that. Yeah, besides a few iffy weird ways that some of the shots are done, I think, and uh, obviously trying to figure out how what the set pieces are going to be, and the dogs being CGI. Like, I don't get why the dogs are CGI, but okay, what, whatever, what enough. Um, and whatever that monster was at the, I'm assuming that's G Birkin. I'm assuming he transforms into his uh, G mutant form, and that was him. Like the multiple eyeballs get kind of given away. It could be Talos though. That's the thing though. Um. Let me see, uh, Resident Evil, and let me see what Talos looked like, because I think it, it might be, it, it's weird though if they bring Talos into this. Let's see. Because the way the character, the way the monster looked, right, um, the way the monster looked, it looked like you could only see the back of it, like it, like half its body was missing, and Talos' is half does technically, is technically missing. Yeah, it's got eyeballs there as well. I think this was Talos. So does Birkin transform into Talos and not, and they're just going to say it's the G-Monster, like, because it looks like it's going to be Talos, actually, um, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm thinking this is Talos, because you can't see the other part of the body unless it's sort of climbing down, but, uh, and it looks like it's got claws coming out, maybe it does transform into another form, but no, I think, I think this is Talos, I think they've gone for Talos here. I could be very, very wrong, but I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking this is the Talos character, because got, it's got two eyeballs on its shoulders, and there's two eyeballs there on its shoulders. Uh, the picture I'm looking at is a very crappy quality though, so I can't see a good image of its face, unfortunately, which I want to see. Uh, no, no, unfortunately, but I, yeah, I'm thinking this is Talos, guys, I think this is Talos, but yeah, I'm excited for this, man, I'm excited for this movie, guys, now, I am excited, I think I will watch this in cinemas, because I am a massive Resident Evil fan, I am curious to see where this reboot goes, um, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the Code Veronica connections just, the, the, the Easter eggs just, I wasn't expecting that, like, holy crap, they brought that in there, uh, I'm interested to see how they do that, like, uh, they're obviously gonna tie... They're gonna tie uh, Alfred and uh, Alexia to to the to, to the to the experiments here, I guess. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they go about doing that, and hopefully it's a setup for the future. And then they're not just gonna be thrown away, and they're gonna be the villains for the next movie, maybe. And then Wesker comes in, and he's got his superpowers, and we get that awesome Alexia, maybe a nice remit redone version of the Alexia versus Albert Wesker fight from the original uh, Cold Veronica X, maybe like just two super powered beasts just kicking ass, one throwing plants and fireballs, and you're just using his agility to punch and stab and shoot. Like that'll be cruel to see, man. Um, yeah, just a shame. It doesn't look like we're gonna get a nemesis though. So 
I guess because it was already done in the other movie, so it's like it'll be a bit repetitive, but still, a shame. But yeah, at least we're getting something uh, different there. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, guys. Wow. Wow, I'm actually excited. I didn't think that would be possible, but I'm excited. Anyway, guys, that was a reaction to it. Uh, and remember, to, as always, guys, to like and subscribe. And I shall see you, and I shall see you. Take care, and bye.